एबिलिटी मे गेट यू टू द टॉप बट इट टेक्स कैरेक्टर टू कीप यू देयर नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू नेक्स्ट आई एस आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इम्पोर्टेंट प्लेसेस जो कि अभी रिसेंटली न्यूज में थी एंड दे आर ऑल्सो रेलिवेंट फॉर यूपीएससी सो लेट स्टार्ट टूडे डिस्कशन विद मंगोलिया इट वॉज इन द न्यूज बिकॉज रिसेंटली इलेवंथ मीटिंग ऑफ द इंडिया मंगोलिया ज्वाइंट वर्किंग ग्रुप वॉज हेल्ड इन न्यू डेली एंड बोथ साइड रिव्यूड द प्रोग्रेस ऑन वेरियस बायोलिट्रल डिफेंस कॉपरेशन इनिशियटिव and identified means to further enhance the existing areas of cooperation right now let's understand these points with the help of map so friends it is a landlocked country in east asia and its capital is ulaanbaatar it is located between russia to the north and china to the south now let's look at the historical linkages of mongolia so friends it was a satellite state of the soviet union which had aided its independence from china it led to a multi party system and a new constitution in 1992 and a transition to a market economy and friends it is a semi presidential representative democratic republic with directly elected president now let's look at the geographical features of mongolia so friends it is considered to be part of mongolian plateau and its highest point is khwiten peak in the tawan masif and the basin of uvs lake shared with to a republic in russia is a natural world heritage site now let's know more about uvs lake so friends it is a highly saline lake in an endoric basin and it is the largest lake in mongolia by surface area and do you know friends mongolia has the gobi desert to the south and cold mountainous regions to the north and west now let's learn some facts related to gobi desert it is a vast arid region in the northern china and southern mongolia and it is known for its dunes mountains and rare animals such as snow leopards and bacterian camel and do you know friends mongolia is known as the land of the eternal blue sky or country of blue sky because it has over 250 sunny days a year now let's look at the india mongolia relations so friends india and mongolia have interacted through buddhism throughout history and mongolia has been traditionally supporting india in the united nations and various other international forums and one more thing friends india mongolian agreement on cultural cooperation was signed in 1961 right now friends let's go to new zealand it was in the news because recently new zealand government has declared a national state of emergency as cyclone gabriel causes widespread flooding landslides and huge ocean swells across the north island now let's learn some facts related to new zealand so friends it is an island country in the south pacific ocean which is the southwestern most part of polynesia and it comprises two main islands the north island and the south island which are separated by cook strait and new zealand lies more than 1000 miles southeast of australia right we have just discussed these points now let's look at the climate and topography of new zealand so friends it is a land of great contrast and diversity because it has active volcanoes spectacular caves deep glacier lakes wooded valleys dazzling fjords and long sandy beaches and part of ring of fire the circum pacific seismic belt marked by frequent earthquakes and volcanic activity and its longest river is waikato now what is ring of fire so friends it is a result of plate tectonics and it is also called circum pacific belt which is a path along the pacific ocean characterized by active volcanoes and frequent earthquakes it traces boundaries between several tectonic plates including pacific Pacific, Cocos, Indian Australian, Nazca, North American and Philippine plates and do you know friends it is the most seismically and volcanically active zone in the world because it is home to about 75% of the world's volcanoes and about 90% of its earthquakes right as you can see here this is the image of pacific ring of fire now friends let's learn about suez canal it was in the news because shipping giant mask has filed a lawsuit against the owner and operator of container ship evergreen which blocked the suez canal for 6 days in march 2021 now let's learn some facts related to suez canal so friends it is an artificial sea level waterway running north to south across the isthmus of suez in egypt to connect mediterranean sea and red sea canal separates african continent from asia it was built between 1859 to 1869 and do you know friends it is one of the most important waterways in the world and it is one of the world's most heavily used shipping lanes and it also navigates navigation around the cape of good hope in africa and cuts distance up 
to 7000 km right as you can see here this is the image of suez canal now let's look at the historical linkages so friends historians have concluded that egyptian pharaoh Sennacherib 3 was the first to think of connecting red sea and mediterranean sea and mid 1800s egyptian viceroy was convinced to support its construction and in 1858 universal suez ship canal company tasked to construct and operate 1869 it was opened for international navigation in 1956 egypt nationalized the canal in 1967 egypt closed it to all shipping lasting till 1975 and in 1973 canal being the focus of arab israeli war now let's look at the significance of suez canal so friends it is one of the world's most heavily used shipping lanes and it is responsible for around 10% of world trade by volume per year and on an average 50 ships with 9.5 us billion dollar worth pass through daily and here freight and cargo include everything and do you know friends canal is extensively used by modern ships as it is the fastest crossing from the atlantic ocean to the indian ocean and tolls paid by the vessels represent an important source of income for the egyptian government right now friends let's go to portugal it was in the news because for the first time india has emerged as one of the top four nations to obtain the portugal golden visa in 2022 and do you know friends it provide foreign investors the right to reside in portugal and opens a gateway to get portuguese citizenship for themselves and their families right as you can see here this is the image of portugal it is the southwestern european country situated mostly on iberian peninsula and it also has small archipelagos of madeira and azores in atlantic ocean its capital is lisbon and it is bordered to the north and in the east by one country which is Spain and Portugal shares some maritime borders with Morocco and do you know friends Azores are chain of nine mountainous islands of volcanic origin lying on the west of Lisbon right we have already discussed these points right now let's look at the geographical features of Portugal the Tagus river flowing west into the atlantic at lisbon divides mainland portugal into two distinct topographical and climatic regions and the art of tile painting and glazing known as azulejos is one of the most popular art forms in portugal right and do you know friends portugal is a semi presidential republic with the head of government the prime minister and head of state the president who has the power to appoint prime minister and other government members right now friends in the last let's go to cyprus it was in the news because recently nikos christodoulos was elected as the new president of cyprus as you can see here this is the image of cyprus now let's learn some key facts related to cyprus so friends it is the third largest island in the mediterranean sea and it is known as a popular stop over for cruise ships now let's look at the historical linkages of cyprus so friends it has been divided since 1974 when turkey invaded the north in response to a military coup on the island then the island was effectively partitioned with the northern third run by a turkish cypriot government and the southern two thirds by internationally recognized government led by greek cypriots united nations to patrol the green line dividing the two parts now let's know its border areas so friends it is located about 80 km south of the coast of turkey west of syria and lebanon northwest of israel and north of egypt and east of greece and do you know friends Cyprus is a presidential republic and president is both head of state and government right so with this let's conclude our today's discussion thanks for listening be happy be nice